Welcome to Splash Lab. In today's video, we're going to be doing an in-depth analysis of Steph Curry's shooting form. This isn't necessarily what you must do, but it's just showing you exactly what one of the best shooters in the world does when he shoots. In future tutorial videos, we'll discuss exactly why shooters do what they do, and we'll explore every aspect of the jump shot in detail. And remember, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't want to subscribe, then click the don't subscribe button. I'm right here, boss, man. I got this, yeah. Steph Curry keeps his shooting shoulder, elbow, and hip aligned. You can see that his shoulder is directly behind his elbow, in line with his hip. His forearm is slightly tilted away from this line, keeping the ball above his shooting eye. Curry is a right-handed shooter, so in order to align his right side, he turns his feet slightly towards the left. Sometimes, off the dribble, Curry's feet point directly at the rim. When this happens, he rotates his hips as he jumps and turns in the air to maintain that alignment. Curry is predominantly a wide stance shooter with his knees pointing inwards. Off the catch, Steph Curry dips the basketball and uses the momentum to create rhythm for his shot. This means that after catching the ball, he brings it down to his waist before rising up to shoot. Off the dribble, most of the time he's already low and the ball is already at his waist, so he doesn't need to dip. Steph uses a relatively relaxed hand position on the ball, with his index finger and thumb making a V shape. Also notice that his hand is on the side of the ball and rotates towards the net as he extends his arm. When Curry shoots, the ball first travels backwards towards his head before traveling forwards towards the net. The point right before the ball starts moving towards the net is called the set point. Steph Curry's set point is just above his right eye. At his set point, his thumb is in line with his eyebrow and his palm is facing to the side. You'll also notice that his arm makes a 90 degree angle at his armpit. 
the angle between his arm and his forearm is much less than 90 degrees. He always reaches his set point before his feet leave the ground and then uses the power from his jump to push the ball forward. Curry is a palm shooter. This means that he rests the ball on his entire hand with the weight of the ball on his palm. He then transfers the ball from his palm to his finger pads and off his fingertips as he snaps his wrist forward. He uses a four fingers down release and the ball comes off of his middle finger last. Curry keeps his wrist relaxed and floppy on his release. On his follow through, his elbow is right above his head and his arm is completely straight. The ball travels in a straight line. It starts off above his eye, and on his follow through, his wrist ends up directly above his eye. Steph keeps his eyes on the rim until the ball is released. As soon as it leaves his hand, he follows the ball with his eyes all the way to the rim. Notice that his offhand comes off the ball right before he starts to snap his wrist forward. Also watch how he tucks his thumb in next to his index finger on his offhand. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to receive a secret video that'll show you how to increase your scoring average by 15 to 20 points overnight, then close this window because that's impossible. But if you want to receive a free video that'll show you three steps you can take to find the perfect shooting form for you based on your body's mechanics, then click this button right here to get instant access and maximize your shooting potential.